What should we do? What should we do? Whoops! Hello everyone, it's Falcon here and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Pyre. And so last episode we faced against um H Manly Tinder stuff, if I remember correctly, and yeah, we pretty much got some information that he's probably in cahoots with you know some people in the government since he's an ex noble and all that. With the government I mean you know the government of Commonwealth and all that. So anyway, our next enemy for today would be um, what's her name again? Udmilde, the um, cultist who praises um, Islak and stuff. And so yeah, before that, let's go have some conversation in the black wagon. And as usual, this is a non-liberation right episode, so I won't be reading the dialogue to. You know, increase the speed of our progress a bit. Since I'm sure you guys don't like having long episodes or long videos in general. And so, yeah. Oh, okay, she was sleeping. <laughs> she, prob <laughs> she probably looked dead while sleeping. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Take it easy. <laughs> we were just concerned and all that. Oh, I only noticed it just now, but Bertrude also has um, horns over there, green ones. D very different compared to um, to what's her name again? Jodariel and Ignarius. But. Yeah, it's probably different because she's a crony or something. Unlike um, Jodariel and Ignarius, they're probably both normal humans at some point. So I guess it depends on the species. And who's, who is that? Wolfred? <laughs> <laughs> Your um, typical, uh, you know, aunt or grandma that likes um, flash, uh, having flashbacks of her younger days. <laughs> Okay, so you're actually, um, how do you say this? Appreciate what we did, so that's good, that's good. Good for you guys. Anyway, is there even a new page on chapter 2? Still nothing. Or, or there is. Oh no, we've already read this before. I remember this. Ah, when will the new, the new pages go come out? But anyway, let's go to um, what's the next destination? I forgot. I only remember the enemy. Oh shit. 
hey, what's to be a <laughs> We crashed onto another person's wagon. Whatever. <laughs> What's that? There's something flying over here. Oh, okay. We just... Did you just kill it? <laughs> anyway, I think we're near. Next right, the Isle of Kalamur. Okay. Here we go. We've got the Bar's Reef or the Sharp Shoal. You sense the presence of your adversary Lendl here and may learn of his recent activity. Or the Lone Minstrel indicates that there may be rare fish here ripe for the catching. I won't be needing that. As for this one, this seems interesting. Let's see what what Lendl's doing here. Nothing on the black wagon, so let's cry for information. Sir Deluge and the Pirate Hearts. Oh, okay, they fought each other. And Sir Deluge lost, I assume. Okay, so that was pretty much all that the information we got. And at the same time, we've got time for vacations. I did not expect that, but that's always welcome. And so, who should we go with? Pametha, Rookie... Um, maybe Tizo... Or maybe Volfred. I should probably go with Tizo on this one. Level up. Karahi gives thanks to Hahub. Oh, okay, one of the scribes. What's the star sign? If banished, Tizo drops an improved moon sign that boosts. Yeah, that's good. Automatically casts implode ability with the not possessed orb. Yeah, that's good. Elusive nature while fluttering or zipping, Tizo moves much faster than usual. I think this tree is pretty much the best, honestly. We're not using Tizo to score in the pyre anyway. He's there to, you know, as a decoy or something like that. Scricky, Kiriki! That was pretty much it. And so, finally, we shall go to the Isle of Kalmer and. Fight off or face off with Udmilde. But before that, there's another message for us. Probably another news from the Commonwealth. Yeah, it's about Tamitha. Oh, okay. So she pretty much got. Uh, you know, interrogated again because, well, the Hiving Remnants and the Commonwealth aren't exactly in good terms, even now. And for some reason, she still blames Pamitha. What the hell? And we won't be facing the essence again because they're racist. <laughs> Just kidding. I understand their hate though, but you know, you're pretty much uh, inhibiting your own opportunity towards freedom. But whatever. Your choice. You're going to be next, Pamisa, so. We should just meet with her once you're out. And 
Anyway, let's go. Comments the right. Nothing in the black wagon. As for the slug market, I don't have money. But I'll just um look if there are new stuff. Here we go. Black claw. What's this? Cursed talisman. The bearer's aura remains while grasping the orb, but cannot be cast. Oh! Okay, so whoever were. These talismans are double edged swords. They have both positive and negative effects. After getting banished, the bearer either returns with infinite stamina or as a fast moving howler. Okay. The bearer has 100% more stamina than usual, but you cannot grasp the orb. Then, what's the point? Unless you're Tizo, but still, what's the point? After dousing an adversary's fire, bearer's fire recovers equal up to 50%. Oh, that's, that's cool. Although I don't have money, I don't have any money. But yeah, that's good to know. Yeah, sorry about that, Ron. I saw lots of things that I would like. But I don't have the money. <laughs> of course, it's virtue. Oh, so she's probably talking about um, Udmilde. Oh, she, she wants to weaken Udmilde, if possible. Why not? I mean, Udmilde isn't exactly a good person to bother fighting with honor anyway, <laughs> or something. Oh, so what does Islak's um, Titan Star do? Attack 6 shoulders. Their adversaries shall all return from banishment when all are banished. What? Your adversary shall all return from banishment. Ah, okay. So once everyone's gone, they automatically all go back. Is the, Am I correct in understanding that? Six shoulders. Might as well try it. Next, where is um, Islak? Oh, here he is. Your adversary shall be more cunning and much quicker to act. Islak, astral born. Might as well, I guess. I'll be removing this one because you already have the AI is already much cunning and much quicker. So let's reduce their stamina for that. Just to balance it out a bit. I guess this is okay for now. Hopefully, I'm not making myself lose on this one again. <laughs> or making it too difficult on myself. Anyway, hopefully, um, Bertrude's plan works. Good evening there, you exiles of the Night Wings. The eight scribes summon you to the Isle of Kaelmer. The triumvirate you stand against shall be the withdrawal. Snuff out their fire's flame and show your worth. Now prepare yourselves. Oh yeah, the Isle of Kaelmer is where the um the arena or football stadium is. <laughs> it's been a long time since the last we've been here. Hello to you as well, Ludmilde. And why do they have similar poses? Vartas. 
and they all talk like um, the old English style, <laughs> medieval style, or whatever you want to call it. Sure, sure, if you say so. Frozen soul. Minus 20 to adversary? Wow, we have further less health now. Oh, so it doesn't affect Udmilde. Um, only after we win. It only affects her after we win. So it may help us in a liberation right if we ever face her. But for this one, I just made it a lot harder. Ha! Huh. Damn it. <laughs> oh, so it's if we lose, Bertrude gets weaker. But if we win, Udmilde gets weaker. Maybe I'll go with Jodariel. Jodariel. And Pametha as usual. What is she using? I should use her um, legendary talisman. There we go. And maybe with Milde. Yeah, I shall, I shall grant her quickness. Or, <laughs> or Bertrude rather, <laughs> I interchange their names. Yeah, I'll be using her since we're up against Udmilde. Okay, let's go do this. What the hell? He didn't even get hit. Oh, so if we banish everyone, they all safely come back. It's an effect. An, the effect was for the enemies. Oh, okay. Nope. I get it now. I should deactivate that in the future. That was annoying. Nope, 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 nope. Decoy. Whoa, I didn't reach. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> she threw it instead of actually going into the into the pyre. What the hell? <laughs> I thought the effect was supposed to leave uh, for us. Then again, that was a Titan Star, so I should have known better. She served the scribes as faithfully as the monstrosity which she adores. Oh, man. How brazen. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Nope. Nope, you won't be doing that. Ah! Oh! What should we do? What should we do? Whoops! Ha! That short flight 
uh, made me vulnerable against the suicidal imp. Let's go! I won't be reaching- Oh! What the hell? Why do they keep throwing it instead of just going into the um, fire? Well, I understand if it's the imps doing that, but for Admilde, I'm not so sure why she's doing that. Oh, now they're revived. Because of the Titan Star, damn it. Ah, now they're revived again. Nope, you won't be doing that. Nope. Ah! Spectacular. Nope. They are not the purified flame. What's happening? Oh, okay. The Ogens are getting crazy. Sacred tradition, not some boorish spectacle. Nope, you can't catch me. Ah, oh dear. no, nope, I won't be taking it from me. Never again. Why can't I um, switch it to Dudariel? What the heck? I'm sure I was pressing the right button. Nope. Jump! Oh! I didn't even. Ah! I was so close. Didn't see it coming. I should have switched. Or rather, I should have passed it. Damn it. Stop jumping around, man. Another yep, and now they're back. I need only to banish one. Okay, there we go. Ah! Just give me some space. Ah. Oh, 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 oh. There goes the witch of Milda. Ah, damn it. They made use of the Titan Star. Their name was true, and thus your pyre wanes. Hey, I pressed the um, passing button. What the hell? Arrgh! Need to wait for them. What the hell? Jump! Ah! I shall go. I shall go. I shall go! I shall go! Nope, nope! <laughs> this is going to be the last rally. Just get hit, man. Just get hit. 
Tortoise. Oh, man. I wasn't able to pass it. Let's go! Woo! Finally! It is done. The Night Wings prevail again. A narrow victory, yet nonetheless commendable. Of the course! <laughs> is complete. And now she's having doubts about Islak and that. Uh, Will make her weaker. <laughs> well, sucks to be you, Admilde. Always is there greater knowledge to be gained. Anyway, we want that. That's always good. And now, Bertrude levels up. Anyway, let's look at at her mastery tree. We've got Hex of Defeat. While Bertrude's Spire has less um, HP than the adversary, she deals an additional 5. Which is good because we, al we always, almost always have lesser um, damage. Or rather, lesser lesser Pyre HP. But who knows, but still. As for this one, while Bertrude's Spire has more... Oh, so it's either if, if we're disadvantaged or if we're advantaged. Okay, how about the last parts of the tree? Once per right, after saluting adversaries, Bertrude turns them into fast moving howlers. Or for this one, while Bertrude's spire has less HP than the adversary, your adversaries deal minus 10 to her pyre. Ooh, that's cool. Maybe I should go with this one. I'm not comfortable with making my allies howlers or something. Anyway, the charge up time before Bertrude can use her Arabas is greatly reduced. Yeah, I really need that. Okay, let's go with Hex of Defeat then. The secrets of the Wild Witch revealed. Until the stars align. <laughs> I thought I was going to lose that one again. But no. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming uh, it's already time for another liberation right? Yep, it's definitely a liberation right. And who are we going to be facing against? Oh, Barker. I'm sorry Barker, but you won't be winning today. Pamitha has to go. Oh yeah. Um, we already ha we only have a few liberation rights left because for some reason 
the stars are disappearing or something like that and so yeah we, all, we only have a few more liberation rights left I think five including the upcoming one and yeah we'll see hopefully we win all, all of them sure no pressure Anyway, that was that, and uh, yeah, we'll be as usual. I'll be doing the liberation right for the next episode, and you know, I usually separate the liberation rights in its own ex episode and stuff. Usually, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was going to say, but yeah, if you like the video, do like it, comment for your comments, suggestions, criticisms, or whatever. And hopefully you subscribe as well. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.